Hello friends. We have two pastoral staff vacancies that our personnel team has been working to fill. We sent an update just two weeks ago to let you know where we were in that process, and I hinted that we would be ready to announce more progress. Well, today is that day. About two years ago, our staff began a journey examining how we disciple people, reach people, and what kinds of work we need to do to improve. Well, much of that came from what we were seeing accomplished in student ministry. Chris Ransbottom became involved with a movement years ago called Replicate, and much of our language and strategy has been aligning with those concepts. And in a way, we've been able to watch a pilot program birthed in student ministry, and we're eager to help that take root among adults in our ministry. When Kevin Phillips resigned a few months ago, Chris expressed interest in that position. So our personnel team interviewed Chris in light of our needs and heard from him about this journey to build up people and lead them to become resilient disciples who lead people to pursue Jesus where they live, work, and play. I hope that sounds somewhat familiar. Our personnel team was stunned with the clarity of strategy and passion and breadth of the knowledge on the disciple-making process. So today, I'm announcing the personnel team's recommendation that we promote Chris Ransbottom to be our next discipleship pastor. Last night, he shared that information with our students. And I will tell you, this is a mixed bag of emotions. He has loved and led students well and is ready to transition to lead the entire church discipleship ministry. There is a mixture of sorrow and excitement. Sorrow for the students he has led for seven years but excitement because he'll bring that same encouragement to our entire church family. Now you'll get more information on the whys for Chris's transition, but we want to let you know what was happening. And like every other pastoral staff hire, this transition is actually a church decision. So today we wanted everyone to know what would happen. On November 12th, Chris will be presented before the church and the church, that's you, will vote about this change. Many of you commented so positively about his preaching this summer, and this will certainly be one of the ways Chris helps to lead our church in the future. But it's a transition I'm confident will be a huge benefit to our church. And because the discipleship pastor actually leads our entire education team, Chris will then be the point person working with our personnel committee to search for the next student pastor. So make plans to join us on the 12th for this important decision. I pray for Chris and Lauren as they love on our students throughout this news. See you soon.